What what wouldn't we know about Regina? Because you've worked with her a couple of times. So what wouldn't we know about her? Um, what you wouldn't know about Regina is, is she has a fear, mm. a very strong fear that if you were about to do something right now, she would run out the room. Yeah, I'm really? having a fear of throw up. Oh, okay. And what about Morris? Because you know everybody out there loves loves this man. What wouldn't we love about Morris? Because you guys filmed together for seven weeks in New Orleans. What, yeah. what was that experience yeah. like? You know, Morris is uh, honestly pretty, he's pretty lovely. He's okay. pretty dreamy. He is not social. He never called me. <laughs> mm. So once the filming's speak. over, that's it. Yeah. Oh, and he, he, even during filming, once they yell rap, and once they yell, you know, martini, mm -hmm. like that last shot of the <laughs> day. The he's, is yeah, over. he's yeah. When, wow. when, the, when the last shot is, but out, uh -huh. like, but working with him mm -hmm. is a dream. That's funny because when when you called me that, oh wait, you never called me. So oh, I, I, my bad, I misspoke. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 because I was like, you know, give me a number. No, but it, and the wow. thing with him is, I and I and I adore him. Mm -hmm. I adore him. I would love to spend. So this is the first time I've seen him since. Since filming? Yeah. Well, I think we had another press that. It BT right. Awards. BT right, right, right. Awards. Okay. BT Awards. BT Awards. Um, she lifted the restraining order just prior to the award <laughs> oh show. Oh, my goodness. So, um, and then she and then she put it back on like the minute afterwards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then now she lifted it for this press jacket. A mess. Um, Regina, I love the way you play, played your character. You know, oh, it was never you. really about, you know, you feeling uncomfortable about this young woman being around your attractive husband. It was always about protecting your unborn child. So how far would you really go? To protect your unborn child. I mean, I think I would go that far. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think she. I think the the conditions were allowed because mm -hmm. her and her husband had such a strong marriage. Right. And right. so I think because he stayed strong and they've never had to address that in their relationship before, she could believe him. Right. And I think, I think there's not. My, I remember I was looking at a story where a woman, the, a guy carjacked her car in D.C. Mm -hmm. and a woman, she died, baby lived, but she oh, wow. she held on to the bumper of the car. Mm. And 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 didn't let go until you know she was dragged. And I yeah. thought, wow, what a woman will do for, for their her baby. And for sure. so I think you know. Yeah. Awesome. And, and even with you, Morris, as well, we love seeing you. I know you've done a ton of collaborations with Screen Gems, yes. and now you have a three-picture movie deal. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Um, but I love the way you played your character as well. You were Thank a strong you. husband. I love getting to see this on film, because we don't get to see this a lot. Right. You, you know what I mean? And I kind of was obsessed with that. But Jazz was a little too obsessed with you. Like, <laughs> I had to ask her when I interviewed you, yeah. like, how crazy do you go for your man? Like, have you had a, a, a ex-lover scorn? So tell me what tell that you? process she, was. She, she yeah. said she had actually yeah. um, and I could tell because she played that character a little too um, <laughs> but she was a new young actress and how did you yes. guys feel working with her what was that she like she was great yeah Jazz was great she was incredible I mean just watching her go through her process yeah. and the way she approached the role to be that young I mean I was around that age when I did Boys in the Hood, and I was just mm. happy to be on set. I was like, right. oh, asking questions and stuff like that, but she was getting very, ladies. He's going no, no, around no, flashing, no. That, <laughs> flashing that smile, you know that. No, no, she was very focused, and yeah, she's she's pretty impressive. Cool. Give me that ass smile that worked like Ooh. a charm. <laughs> look, see, there it is, there it is, there it is. What can we look forward to seeing you guys do next? Because we are going to continue to support you. Can't Thank you so much. I wanted, to Regina, I, I wanted Regina to do Rosewood with me, but she turned us down when we made her the I did not. So, by the way. I did so not. I'm looking forward down. to doing another movie and uh, Rosewood. For sure. I did not turn him down. Um, but I, I just rapped actually on Girl Trip with uh, with Jada uh, Pinkett Smith. I was about to oh, say nice. Jada Pinkett Pinkett Smith oh. and, and Queen Latifah and oh, um, really? Tiffany Hedge. Lorenz Tate was in it. Oh, nice. Mike Coulter. Oh, oh, oh. It was well. nice. Morris. Did I get a, did I get a, I didn't get a call. No call for you, Morris. I didn't get a call for Morris that. Morris was shooting. I Morris, call for Morris that. is on a hit show. I, did, so I didn't get a call for that one. The one that she wouldn't join me on, but it's all I, No, I, 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 I was never <laughs> offered it. They you were checked, never offered uh, No, they checked my availability. And then I, I said know. I was shooting. I don't know. You just look at that smile. How can you, like, think this he's lying? This is what happens. This is what happens. Ladies, don't do the show. This is what happens. This is what happens. Look at that. Look at that. And this was your first starring role. It was. Tell us about how you got, you know, the audition and what that process was like for you. Um, well, there was a multi-step process. Um, and I had a few auditions. I met uh, with some people at Sony, and I met the director. And, um, yeah, it, I mean, it was a long process, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you found out you got the role, where were you? How did you feel? I was in North Carolina. Okay. I was on a jog, and... I was like, what? No way. Like, I didn't even <laughs> believe it. You know, I was I was hoping for it, of course. And right. at this point, I'd met the director, and that went well. And uh, But to finally get the yes, because, you know, as an actress, so often it's like, 
almost, halfway, almost, right, almost, right, right, right. You know, a little more of this, a little less of that. So They're then when you this. finally hear like a yes, it then just feels awesome. so good. Yeah, and you got a chance to be on screen with some really heavy hitters. I yeah. mean, you're on there with Morris Chestnut yeah. and Regina Hall. What was it like, you know, playing opposite Morris and getting a chance to work with Regina? So great. It was so great. They're both such talented actors yeah. and just great people. Like, they're just wonderful to be around. Mm -hmm. The two of them have, you know, they know each other. They've worked together before. So they're always laughing and joking, and they made me feel really comfortable and welcome yeah. and, uh, and safe in some of the more intense scenes. And um, it was really, it was a privilege to work with them. Yeah, now, I mean, I'm sitting here with you, and you're so calm and well put together, but your character is, let's just face it, very unstable. She's unstable. She I like that. Because people are like, she's insane. She's a psycho. I'm like, okay, easy. No. Unstable. Unstable. Now, you have to tell me, I mean, has there ever been an ex that really put you over the edge because you played <laughs> no. this character a little too close? Actually, yeah, not like over the edge like that, but like, I mean, if you've ever had your heart broken, yeah. that first heartbreak can make you a little crazy. Oh, for sure. I was like emotional, like a wreck crazy versus like I'm gonna kill you and take your baby crazy, yeah. but I can definitely relate to that helpless feeling of wanting something you can't have. Yeah, for sure. And we're just now getting introduced to you. What else do you want to do with your career? Because I see you doing so, so much, but what do you well, that's specifically want to do? I want to do all of it. I, I want, <laughs> my dream life is to read great scripts, pick like two or three of the scripts that I love doing, do those, and then go travel the rest of the year and then come back and film something else. For sure. I'm going to tell everybody to go see this oh, film, but you. in your own words, why should people go out and see When the Bow Breaks? Because it's exciting. It's a thriller. Um, we really we really just take the audience on a ride. Yeah. And I'm excited for people to experience that thrill. 